Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I just wanted to do this quick little intro. I wasn't going to do an intro, but then I realised I didn't actually film an outro. So, this is an intro. This is future Amy. Um, I have now been discharged from hospital for a few weeks now. Two weeks yesterday, actually. Um, things are going so, so well. I do plan on doing an update video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, enjoy this video because I really want to keep up with the regular uploads on Fridays. I am wearing something, don't worry. Um, but yes, Friday will be my upload day, so please look out every Friday for a new video. And I will try and let you know if there won't be a video. So look out either on my vlog channel or the little community tab on this channel. And I will let you know if I'm not going to upload that week. Um, and I wasn't actually going to upload today, but I've actually managed to edit this. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's a bit different for you guys. And um, please let me know down below what you think. And if you want more videos like this, then I can do that. I apologise for the noise. It is my IV pole. I'm currently running fluids, so... It's kind of annoying, so I apologise for that. Um, but yeah, without further ado, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is kind of be going to be a bit vloggish style. I'm not even sure if there'll be an intro before this or not. Um, but today is my last night in the hospital before discharge, and I thought I would do kind of like a hospital room tour and just show you guys what the average hospital room looks like where I live and like my setup when I'm an inpatient um, just because I thought it'd be an interesting video so I'm going to start with where we come in and then I'll kind of go through sorry I'm, I'm just having to manoeuvre my pole yeah. okay so this is the door where people enter and by the door we have like a little whiteboard where all the details go except Nobody can be bothered to write them, so sometimes you have a nurse that will write it all, other times you won't. And this is the view from when you walk in, like so. I'm going to start over here. There is a sink where when the doctors come in, they wash their hands. Also, I can use it, but it's more for the doctors to wash their hands before they examine you, etc. Um, then I have like a little stack of IV poles. Altogether, I have three in my room. Four if you count the one on the bed. And these are just my fluids that I had earlier. And then that was just another IV pole. And then over here, we just have a few bits of bulbs, like a thermometer. This is a spare giving set for my TPN, which I need to pack tomorrow before I leave. Um, then you just got like all the light switches. So the exam light, which is this one here which is for the doctors, on and off. Then you have the reading light, which is this one, above the bed, and that actually can be controlled from my buzzer, which is that blue thing there. Then you have the up light, which is like the main light. Let's see if I turn that off. That's the one that's lighting up most of the room. Um, and then the light over there is controlled from this one here. Um, and then you've just got things like suction, oxygen, and then a lot of plugs and stuff like that, but you don't really, we, 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 I don't need that, so we don't really use that. Moving on to my bed. Um, around here is my blood pressure cuff, which every time I get my blood pressure done, they put this on. Um, they're disposable ones, so each patient has their own kind of thing. And then they just get left in the room. Um, my bed, which I have, obviously, you have the normal hospital pillows that you get. And then I have my own pillow and also my own blanket. For comfort reasons, that's one of my hospital essentials, is the blanket. Um, and then on the bed, I have my teddy bear. This comes everywhere with me. It's my hospital teddy, or one of them. Um, and then I've just got my phone, my iPad, um, and my laptop, which are... My laptop's charging my iPad, and my laptop is also on charge, and they're just on my bed. Normally, I, will, I do lock them away in the cupboards while I sleep, or if I leave the room, because I don't want them on show. And they do tell you when you're in hospital not to leave any valuables on show, in case anybody nicks them. But I'm not not having my phone or my iPad or laptop, because I can't edit or do anything. 
So, moving on. Then at the end of the bed we have another blood pressure cuff. They kind of switch between this one and that one. I don't know, it just depends. And we also have some tourniquets, which the, um, dropping them here, which the phlebotomists use to take my blood each morning. Um, so then they don't have to open up a new packet each time, they can just use mine. So that's that. And then we have my little hospital tray or table, whatever you call it. I have a rubbish bag on the end, just for rubbish and random bits and bobs. I'll come back to this corner in a second. I'm just going to talk about my hospital tray first. Um, and on here I have my water jug, which gets refilled a couple times a day. The cup. This is like, was a cup of tea. They bring these around like twice a day. They come with the tea trolley or a few times a day. Then they come like morning and then after like afternoon and then they come in the evening. So they come about three times a day with like coffee and tea. Um and then they come and collect these cups. So then I have some sterile water which I use to like flush my, my tube with my medications, etc. Stuff like that. I usually keep that on there too. My tablet crusher. God, I'm making a mess. <laughs> my tablet crusher, which has a tablet in the bottom which I need to take, so I'll do that after. Um, and then I've just got my, this is just a thing that I need to take home with me. And then I have my fluid balance chart, which I fill out each day. Um, and if you go watch my video where I did a day in the life, like a morning hospital routine, I did quick, I did mention it in there. And then I just have a pen so I can fill it out as needs be. And then just behind that, we have a stack of cups. These ones I keep water in which is just that water there, the sterile water. And then these smaller cups I use to mix, um, I use these to mix my medications, like put the crushed tablet in and then I use the water to dissolve it in these. Um, so I just got a stack of those there. Okay, now to the corner. So we have a sharps bin, which again, the phlebotomists use to put all the, their sharps and stuff like that in. Um, we have some protective little um, like eye guard shield thingy and bobs, gloves, and then again protective wear that the doctors and nurses can use, like little gowns, disposable ones, little aprons. Um, and then we have some alcohol rub, my compression stockings, which I'm meant to be wearing, but I just can't be bothered. Then we have um, first of all this metal. I'm dropping things. This metal trolley is what I set my TPN up on which is this lovely stuff here, um, which I will do a video all about this, but it's just basically IV nutrition, um, which bypasses your di digestive system completely. So the silver trolley is what I used to set up on. Now I've just got syringes for my tube, my feeding tube, which is this one, but that. And these are just the sterile syringes which I use to flush my Hickman line with which again I will do a video all about like TPN and my Hickman line which is this bad boy here my Hickman line which goes to a ve like a vessel just like sits like just above my heart um, and then I've just got some like shower dressings um, to protect myself when I'm showering to keep the line dry and then just some like feed stuff and that tray just sits up here out of the way and then underneath we've just got some random bits and bobs, I don't even know. A little gauze thing, some gloves, what is this? I don't even know what that is. And some latex sterile gloves. Um, anyway, so that's that corner and that tray just sits there. Now like I said, this is my last night here, so a lot of the stuff that I would normally have has been actually been taken home. But I'll just show you where we kept it. Um, I'll do the bathroom last. The bathroom is, if that's my bed there, it's kind of behind me in that door there. En suite. <laughs> um, so normally where this basket is, this isn't normally here. My wheelchair would normally sit here, but Tom took it home today. And then here I would normally have my suitcase with all my clothes in, especially if I'm staying for a long time. Um, but like I said, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, so hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> So Tom took that home and I've just left out the clothes I'm wearing for tomorrow and then I've also just got a couple of jackets up there. But normally my suitcase would be there and any other just like stuff like that. 
in here I would normally keep like like I said more clothes stuff like that socks shoes underwear there's just some spare pillows in that one and um, but again that's been taken home um right so that is basically this little corner here um, and then underneath there I've just got a backpack and a little another little bag which I'm going to pack up everything else that's left in those two I just need to bring my pole I don't know where my handbag's gone unless Tom's taking it with him oh no it's under the bed it's going to stay I might actually just bring that out from underneath there just because I don't want to forget it so yeah and my handbag Okay, so I'm like moving on to this little section, which is next to my bed. We have some air, suction, oxygen, and then just some more plug sockets. And then we've also got like a, the call bell, which is this here. This one controls the light. And then this one is the call bell to call for a nurse, but we don't need that. Some tissues, lovely mirror. Hello. Um, and then I just have my lip balm, which sometimes stays on my tray, and then other times um, I'll just keep it up here. This is my heat pack charger, which keeps plugged in, and then obviously I've also got my laptop charger plugged in. So in my top drawer I kind of keep my medical things, so that is the heat pack, that's the charger for it. And um, we've just got some tape here. Uh, I don't know what type of tapes these are, but we've just got some tape. Um, some of my tablets, this one because the hospital don't necessarily stock it or they'd run out so I was using my supply. We have a random on Danzatron which is like an anti-sickness and some laxatives. And then I've just got a little couple, a few sick bags because I go through them like anything. Some scissors, salt packets, don't ask me why. <laughs> I was stock, kind of stockpiling them to put on my mashed potato because that's like the only thing I eat from the hospital. Um, because it drains easily and then I've just got the head to my phone charger because it's currently plugged into the side of my laptop and I didn't want to lose the little head bit of it um, moving on the next drawer is kind of just like my everything drawer so I kind of keep a few little snacks mostly sugar related things for low blood sugars so we have some little sour chews some sour pal sour pal sour patch kids um, and then we've also got some Werther's Original. These are just the caramelised apple flavour. Just like for low blood sugars. And then we've also got some chewing gum underneath the Sour Patch Kids, if you can see. Um, a plastic bag. That's just for like a spare rubbish bag. And then I've got two pairs of headphones, just like the Apple ones. And then I've got my, my Beats, which I absolutely love. But it's kind of annoying when you're in the hospital because... On the one hand, it drowns out the sounds, and then on the, the bad side to it is that you can't hear when nurses come in or knock at your door, and then they kind of just like waltz in, and you're just like, whoa, you could have knocked because you can't hear them knocking. Um, then I just got the PlayStation controller, which I was plugged into my laptop so I could play Lego Harry Potter, um, pencil case, and then I've just got like a magazine and a couple of like books, like word searches, um, puzzles, stuff like that some colouring pencils just to doodle with and then a book that I was doing like a random little Harry Potter doodle <laughs> obviously he's not finished but and how cool is this you ready some magic magic it's hard to do with one hand and then whee. anyway and then I've got my Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire which is the book that I'm currently reading again for the millionth time <laughs> And then in this drawer, I just keep, I did have my hair straightener in here, but again, Tom took that home. So I've just got my makeup, a couple of little makeup palettes, and then there was some Ribena and also some matcha, oh God, I'm pulling the, pulling the thing, some matcha green tea in the corner as well. Um, so that is pretty much it for the room side of things. I'm getting all tangled in my wires. Um, the other, the other thing is the view which I'll quickly show you, even though it's dark outside, but I'll show you anyway. It's probably be hard to see, you're probably just gonna have a you probably just see me. Here, let me put you against the window. Yeah, lovely hospital views. Um, so. Can't close the window now. 
go. And then lastly, the last place I want to show you is the bathroom. Welcome to the ensuite. It's not fancy at all. But we're going in. Pole first. Ah, run away. It's downhill slope in here because, oh my gosh, it's getting so echoey. Let me leave the door open so it might, won't be as echoey. Um, it's a downhill slope so all the water runs towards the drain and doesn't flood into your room. So we have the toilet, a syringe above the toilet so I can drain if I need to straight into the toilet. And when I say drain, I have a drainage, this little red section of my tube. It's not focusing, but that little red section is like the drainage that goes into my stomach so I can drain so I don't have to be sick. Um, we have a little railing for like old people if they need it. And a, a little wee container to collect urine. These are my dirty towels because I had a shower this morning, so that's where I just keep them and then they come and get them the next day. Um, and then over here we have another nice bin, some flannels to wash your face, a towel, me again. <laughs> Hello. Um, we have some hand wash. Uh, I literally just use this to wash my hands, although I did wa use my face, um, use this to wash my face because it, it, uh, there was a point when I didn't have any face wash. Um, my hairbrush. I just have a couple of rogue earrings here, don't ask me why. Um, a hair grip, toothbrush, did I say that already? <laughs> my perfume, um, toothpaste, deodorant, and then I have... Then I've got a few different like creams. This one is a spot cream. It's really, really good, except I haven't really used it. The last time I used this was actually when I was in hospital last time, like August. Um, anyway, then I have this, which is actually Tom's. Um, it's like a face scrub that gets rid of any like dead skin. Um, it's really, really good. It makes your skin feel so, so smooth and soft. And it doesn't spread any spot bacteria or germs, which is good. And then I have like my all time favorite face cream, which is the Mix Easy uh, face cream. Uh, and you literally make it yourself. Like you pick the ingredients, what you want it to go in. So it's like a special blend, like, and you get to pick everything that goes in. So I think that's amazing. So anyway, my favorite face cream. And then over by the shower. I like the fact that the shower can be adjusted and the head actually comes off, which is good. Um, and it has pretty good pressure, so that's good. Now this, I hate this so much. It's the worst thing a must have for me when I come into a hospital, especially a long admission like this one, is shampoo and conditioner. Be let me tell you why. Because this is meant to be, see how it says three in one shower kit. It's meant to be a shampoo, a conditioner and a body wash and it is awful, it is terrible. It's literally only good as a body wash and that's what I use it for. I just use wash my body with it. Um, but I like to bring my own like hair stuff. So this is just a like a pre-shower, not pre-shower, pre-surgery um, wash that they make you use before any surgeries or procedures. So I had to use this before I had my Hickman line placed. Um, so I just kind of left that in here. It's kind of oozing out. Whoops. Um, then I have my simple face wash. Uh, this is like kind of like a little bit of an exfoliator. Um, it's almost empty, but I love it. It's so good. So I've got that. Um, and then I have this, which is not a shower product, but I just left it with the hair stuff. Um, it's a smooth operator, like anti-frizz cream that goes in your hair. It's literally the best product I've ever used in my hair. I'm not even joking. It's amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Then I've just got my shampoo and conditioner um, and this is not my normal shampoo and conditioner but this is just the one that Tom b brought me. Um, he'd gone shopping and he was like, oh, I forgot your shampoo and conditioner, I'm just going to buy some. So he just bought me the these but I like Tresemme, it's what I used to use before the shampoo that I use now so just my shampoo and conditioner and a razor. And that is pretty much it for the bathroom guys, pretty much it for the bathroom. Um, and then I think that is it. Like that is it for like the tour of my lovely hospital room. What do we think, eh? What do we think? So compare it to like 
let me know those of you that are inpatient or have stayed in hospital like what's it like compared to other countries because the only thing i can compare it to is the uk because that's the only other long-term hospital environment that i've stayed in and let me tell you i much prefer um australia well the hospital near me because every room is a like your own room around the uk most rooms are shared rooms at least two or more patients um it's very very rare to get your own room in in a uk hospital at least in my experience so let me know what you think compared to the hospitals that you guys have stayed in and yeah i think that is pretty much it for the room tour so if you guys enjoyed today's video please do give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and yeah all my links will be in the description and any other additional information and if you do have any questions or anything like that please do comment them down below and i'll do my best to answer them um but i love you guys and i will see you uh, in next week's video bye guys trying to get the camera to focus